Right, I'm going to tell you how to download the EMB from our website, which is www.eso-ui.com. So we're going to go to there. There it is, eso-ui.com. We scroll all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. This is a micro list, it doesn't matter. There's the SC, there's the EMB we need. We hit download, we brought to this website, we scroll down a little bit, download the installation is what we need. We need the EMB binaries first, so we go to this website, which is here. I'm going to just open that up from the website so you can see where I go. We go to, we go to news. We go to downloads, we scroll all the way down to Skyrim Special Edition, don't worry, it will work with anniversary, we need the version 4.75, and then we go hit download. And it will show up in your downloads folder here, there you go, I highlighted it for you, it's WinRAR uh, I've got, so that's why it appears like that. So secondly we need to open up the wrapper file. So we just double click on the EMB series, double click on the wrapper, ignore that. And then we need just that open for now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my Skyrim special edition folder where the executable is. I know where that is on my um, PC, but if you don't know where that is, you can use Steam. And you can just browse local files through Steam. And then we're just going to highlight the files that I highlight. Pause the video if you need. That's all the files we need. And we just move them over to the Skyrim Special Edition folder. I'm not going to do that because my PC can't handle the EMB. Uh, and then if it asks you to replace, just say yes. I'm just highlighting the files you need again. There you go. That's what we need, and that's where it goes, it just moves over. So we can then close that. We leave that open because we need that later. And then we just need the immersion EMB. So we're going to go with the Bright and Light one, which is already in, which will just go into your downloads folder. Ignore that. I'm just going to close everything. All right, we're going to highlight all three of these files and move all three of them into the Skyrim Special Edition folder again. If it asks you to replace files, just say yes. And that's it. You have an EMB fully installed. So we just close all those down. And that's it. If you've got NAT, you would want to do these. So if you've got NAT in game, you just bring up the NAT spell and cast it. Select the graphic options and then disable the scattering, dawn and dusk, natural lighting and wet effects. And that's it, you're done.